Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing my vlog in Portugal. So I was very lucky to be there for the past three weeks. We started off in Porto, which is in the north of the country, and I saw so much beautiful blue and white tile. It was just breathtaking and mesmerizing, of course. I had to stop by the world famous Livraria Lelo. It is this beautiful, breathtaking bookstore, and apparently, allegedly, possibly, J.K. Rowling may or may not have been inspired by the architecture and the art in this bookstore for the Harry Potter series. So, you let me know what you think down in the comments. We also stopped by this uh, very famous sardine store. I'm sorry, I forget the name, but it basically looks like a carnival of sardines. Uh, so you can pick some up and take some home with you if you feel like it. Since we were in Porto, we decided to take a day trip to Matazinhos, which is just a seaside town an hour away. We got to dip our toes in the Atlantic Ocean from the other side, have some lovely fish, some vinho verde, and just enjoy the seaside. Of course, no trip to Porto is complete without a wine tour or two. So we took a day trip out on the Duro Valley and spent some time in these lush hills and some vineyards. And we also did a little wine tasting in Porto on the river at Ramos e Pinto. Just something very small, just a couple of uh, ports and a few chocolates because why not after porto we went down to lisbon and here is where we spent most of our time lisbon is covered in these beautiful vibrant purple trees i believe they're called jacarandas i don't think i can capture how beautiful these are in real life they're so vivid so purple they do shed a lot but they are lovely to see okay so we are in Sintra for the day it is this like mossy overgrown no makeup by the way I didn't I don't know why I packed makeup I didn't use it but it's this mossy overgrown castle so we're gonna go on a hike get all of our steps in and that's that, that's today.
hola it's me so Sintra um beautiful like as you can see from the photos that I took and I will insert some stock footage too it was extremely soggy um rainy very very rainy very yeah very rainy also very foggy like the castles are so high up like it's a mountain they're so high up it's foggy like you're in the clouds remarkable loved it uh what else did we do we just walked around like Sintra town uh got more of the cherry liqueur with the chocolate like they served the cherry liqueur in the chocolate cup we got some pastries they were so good there's one i don't know what it's called but it's basically just like rolled up pastry dough with tons of sugar delicious and a coffee eclair oh, i dried off finally and yeah that was it's interesting like an hour outside of lisbon it's not it's really easy to get to um you take the train like an hour outside and then you take a little bus it's very easy i would highly recommend it hopefully you get better weather but I, that's the thing when you travel like some days you get like gorgeous weather other days it rains this is just the neighborhood that we're staying in but overall it was a beautiful day it's still really nice out it's only like i think 5 or 6 p.m so it's still very nice we're going out for dinner later i can show you that i'm glad it stopped raining and uh just trying to show you more of the colorful neighborhood here in lisbon it's very very hilly so hilly you will get all of your steps in don't worry you'll get lots of walking done bring very comfortable shoes watch out for the mopeds too that's what i'm doing okay let's freshen up and go to dinner we saw the Pena Palace in Sintra and we also went to the Moors Castle. That one was a bit trickier because by that point it was like a downpour, like tons of rain and everything is like super steep, like either up this, like this, like this, and lots of cobblestones and like mossy cobblestones. So it, it got a little precarious. We slipped a couple of times. Um, they were both really great. I think we would have like enjoyed our time a bit more if it hadn't rained, but like I think it rain. It didn't rain when we were at um, the Pena Palace. Just once we got to the the Moorish, the Moors Castle, it started to rain. But either one, those were the two highlights of the Sintra because there's like tons of things to see. So you really have to just like pick a couple, pick a few things to watch. So anyway, that was that. Some of you are asking what these little tarts are. These are called pastel de nata. If you have more than one, it's pastel. These are basically a custard cream tart. Think of a creme brulee, but in a pastry. It's delicious with cinnamon on top. We also took a day trip to Belém and they have their world famous pastel de nata. If you go to Belém, I think it's mandatory that you get uh, pastel de nata. Personally, I had three that day and they were all wonderful. We have beautiful views here. It's extremely windy, but you just get to see different parts of Lisbon and just see more history and architecture and it's just really nice. My voice sounds terrible. Um, I got 
food poisoning two days ago and I was very uh, sil uh, sick, very ill. So my throat, my voice sounds a bit off, but I feel fine, I feel perfect. I hope you can hear me, it's very windy at the beach. Um, we're basically, so if you're in Lisbon, if you just take a train west from Lisbon, there are all these seaside beach towns and we're at a place called, I think it's Praia Carcavelos. It's like an hour away. It's just like beach resorts, beach towns. That's where we're at today. For lunch, we had, I tried the snails. I tried my best. They're just not for me. I like all, all, their, all other types of seafood and fish, but these ones, not for me. Sorry, I feel like they sound terrible. I don't know if you can hear it. I, I, like in my head, I sound terrible. I sound squeaky. I took a test came back negative so that's good but anyway beach day so let's go to the water i think my toxic trait is thinking that surfing would come easily to me i don't think that's the case but it just looks like it would be fun maybe one day i'll give it a try it's it's very wavy but the water is actually quite shallow so it's actually quite nice so i'm gonna go in the water now and i can't believe this but i actually forgot my hat my pineapple hat i forgot it at home I know, I know in the comments, sun damage, sun damage, I know. I forgot it. I, I left it at the apartment in Lisbon and we were already on the train, so there was no going back. I certainly hope you enjoyed this little glimpse into my vacation life, what I ate. The food was amazing, as you can see. I had lots of fun and relaxation, and it was difficult to capture every single moment while I was there, of course. But this just gives you a little glimpse, a little taste of Portugal. So that is all I have for you for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and leave a comment down below if you've been to Portugal. Where did you visit and where would you like to visit? Leave a comment. So I think that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.